Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today for part number four and the final part of our series called Gospel Math, where we're looking at fun examples in the Bible of the four basic mathematics operations, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Today we're going to look at division, but before we do, let me give you your scripture verse for today, which is Mark chapter 15, verse 24, which says, dividing up his clothes, they cast lots to see what each would get. If you email us that scripture verse to mpusen at hopeandlife.tv, along with the keyword that I give you here in just a minute during the teaching, we'll send you one of our fun weekly prize packs in the mail. So let's go on to the fourth one, which is division. And division means to split into smaller parts or groups. Example, four divided by two equals two. So let's look at a couple examples from the Bible about division that we see in the Bible. The first one is the division of the Red Sea. After being freed from Egyptian slavery for 400 years, God's people went out into the desert, but they found themselves trapped at the Red Sea as Pharaoh's army was chasing after them because Pharaoh, even though he originally let them go, he decided that was a mistake and he wanted to bring them back into bondage in Egypt. Well, God wasn't going to have that, but there they were trapped at the Red Sea with nowhere to go and God instructs Moses to lift up his staff over the waters of the sea and miraculously the sea was divided. And the Bible says the Israelites were able to go through on dry ground with the sea on either side of them. And once all the Israelites, however many there were, probably estimates are over a million, they got through the Red Sea. Once they were through, then Moses put his staff down and the sea went back together. And the Egyptian army that had pursued the Israelites into the parted sea were actually drowned in the sea. So that day, God rescued his people by dividing the Red Sea. Here's another one, number two, the division of Jesus' clothing. When Jesus was crucified, he was horribly abused and humiliated. We've talked about in the past how he was punched and beaten and whipped and had his beard pulled out and a crown of thorns put on his head all these terrible things and he was very humiliated in addition to this the roman soldiers took his clothes and they divided them up very humiliating to have his his clothes taken and the bible says they cast lots to decide which of the soldiers would actually get his clothes and casting lots was very similar to when uh, we have dice today when we throw dice and it helps us decide something in a game was very similar to that and that's how they decided how to divide up jesus clothing when they were crucifying him where he shed his blood so you and I could be forgiven. And then the third one is a divided baby? We see in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 25, there was a situation where King Solomon, who was noted to be the wisest human being on earth, and by the way, that is your key word, wisdom. Solomon had more wisdom than any other human being, and he was the king of the Israelites at the time, and there were two mothers fighting over whom a baby belonged to. And so they were taken to King Solomon, and Solomon used amazing wisdom to figure out who the baby really belonged to, because the one mother said it was her baby, and another mother said it was her baby, and they couldn't decide the matter. And so I don't think King Solomon meant to actually go through with this, but what King Solomon said was, divide the baby in two and give half to each. What? What did he say? That's what he said. He said, divide the baby in two and give half to each. Well, of course, the real mother of the baby, the one whom the baby really belonged to, she certainly didn't want to see any harm come to her child. And so she said, no, 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 don't do that, King Solomon. Let her have the baby. She didn't want her baby to be harmed. And right then, King Solomon knew whom the baby really belonged to. And so he gave the baby to that mother who did not want to see the baby divided in two. So there's a couple examples of division in the Bible. There are many, many more. All the different things in the Bible about addition, subtraction, and multiplication. But in the meantime, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for all these different examples in the Bible of division and multiplication, subtraction, and addition. We know that you are an amazing God. You invented math. Uh, It's part of the universe, and you've allowed us to discover the beauty of math in our lives. So, Lord, help us to use mathematics as well to bring glory to you and blessing to others. We love you and thank you. In Jesus' name, everybody said...